Grandma didn't like what she was seeing, death and destruction all around. We tried to live a normal life in the midst of chaos. While the Contras and the Sandinistas fought for power, I began to express myself through art. I drew and cut out M16s on cardboard, then gave them out to the neighborhood kids. I was only four. Grandma told my mom to move. We left Nicaragua and moved to Honduras, hoping for better days. The war followed. Not satisfied, we started a journey to the U.S., a family looking for better days. It was a long trip, no plan for us. Three weeks on the bus and a five month stay at a refugee camp in Houston. Later, we arrived at 1315 Park Road. I was in the fifth grade, sporting my Ninja Turtle jacket, jumping over crackheads that slept in my building. In school, I loved drawing Bart Simpson, X-Men, Thundercats, and I can't leave out my Ninja Turtles. By 93, Crack had become an epidemic. This offered a chance to make fast money. It was easy for kids to start grinding. We had crews fighting and losing lives over territory, territory that didn't belong to any of us. I started spray painting the streets of DC with the intent to create strong pieces. I looked to the masters, Salvador Dali, Peter Paul Rubens, Michelangelo, and Picasso. In high school, my life began to change. I met my art teacher, Mr. Gino, who strongly supported me and introduced me to Judy Byron, who became a mentor. One thing led to another, and at 16, I got my first commission to paint a mural. I was hesitant to accept it, thinking it was a setup to arrest me. From that point on, I began to see things different. I realized I can make a living selling art instead of death. Art kept me from becoming a casualty of war. The street taught me how to market myself. I became a businessman. I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a work in progress. Continuing to create, never to retire.